Welcome to this video that shows off some features of Microsoft Azure Web Jobs. Web Jobs is a way for you to run your code as simple batch processing in the Azure platform and it is the, a feature which is now generally available in Microsoft Azure. My name is Magnus Martinson and I'm a Microsoft Azure Most Valuable Professional and you can easily reach me if you have any follow-up questions either online or and the email below. I did a previous recording called the Hello World Web Job where I go through all of the fundamentals of, of Azure Web Jobs, how to set one up and how to deploy one into Azure. This is not that video. I urge you to go and look at that video first if you haven't done so. I will continue with showing off some features in a separate demo. I'm not going to show you how to debug web jobs using Visual Studio. So a web job like this one, an extremely simple one, can be debugged inside of Visual Studio on your local host. This web job is called Hello World. It triggers off a queue called queue, and it's going to write whatever message it, it gets from the queue into a blob in Azure Storage. That's a very, very simple web job indeed. So in order to debug this thing locally, I will have to go and right click as usual and select debug start new instance. Now my web job is running locally. The job host has started and it sees that it has a hello world web job method. If I go to Azure storage and add a message debugging locally is going to trigger my web job locally. So the result of this invocation was written into Azure Storage uh, here. Let's refresh. There's a hello world container and a text file called out.txt and it says debugging locally. Right? Now debugging locally is cool. After a while you go and then start to deploy your, your web jobs into Azure. I have one such here on a website called Web jobs GA demo. I have one web job, hello world. It's the same one that I just showed you, but the status of this of this one is that it stopped. If I start this thing and I go and enter a new message in my queue. New message. Or new message. Like that. You can see that this should be picked up uh, by the web job running in Azure. And the result, of course, should be the same that the message is written to this file. So now my web job is running in Azure. And I have it sort of in production, so to speak, right? What if I want to debug the production version of this, uh, this code? How do I do that? Well, over in Server Explorer, you can open up your Azure node, go down to your websites, Open up your website in, in the question here, the Web Jobs GA demo. There's now a node called Web Jobs under there. You can check your dem on demand and scheduled web jobs as well as your continued web job, continuous web jobs. So the Hello World web job is the one running in Azure right now. I can make sure that it's refreshed and nice, and of course, right click and say Attach Debugger. There we go. The debugger is now attached. So now if I go and add a new queue message to my queue saying debugging in the cloud, of course, the result should be the same. I'm not running it locally. I am attaching my debugger to the instance which is running in the cloud for real. And there we go. The result is the same message debugging in the cloud. I can hit F5 to go through with that. Go back and refresh here and see that indeed the file was written as before. As you can see, it's extremely easy to debug web jobs in the cloud on your local box, however you like. It's very powerful. If there is anything you would like to ask me, please don't hesitate to contact me.